Oh, there we go. Attractive duo is back, you guys. Nancy Rommelman, Paloma Media founder, journalist, reason hey. contributor, author of the To the Bridge, A True Story of Motherhood and Murder, and currently the best goddamn Portland correspondent in these United States. Apparently the... What the heck? <laughs> Christy Matthewson! More and more, I have become a huge fan, and so is Nancy. And really, Matt's the only other person that has repeated almost verbatim my mother gas story in World War One oh. that I told you like a day before. This is great. Uh, where did you get this? Was this a Hall of Fame uh, thing? We were up in Cooperstown last, not that long ago, like three or four months ago. Mm -hmm. And after um, we went to the museum, there's a, what is it called, Yostromsky's? There's, yeah. there's like, you know, everything in Cooperstown, which is where the, the baseball Hall of Fame is uh, is named, you know, some baseball theme. Oh, yeah. And uh, we went in there, and they just had a bunch of cards, and I'd fallen in love with Christy Mathewson at the, uh, every time Matt didn't know where to find me, he'd find me in front of a picture of Christy Mathewson. <laughs> <laughs> so when we were there, he's like, get some cards. And I was like, no, no. He's like, get some. So we got two, and I now want I love you. Thank you so much. Oh, this is the gift you were talking about at the, uh, here's another plug alert. Mm -hmm. I went to a live Reason Round Table last week. It Ooh, was yep. fucking great. It was great. Uh, I, but my only quibble is a compliment. Fucking beyond sold out and you know me in crowds uh it was it was packed it they was. absolutely filled the place why village is, vanguard why is that a quibble because i don't like a lot of people oh i would have I, I wish Bill. it was a bomb Hi. i wish it was just me there <laughs> going Yay. it's newly i'll just just plug ahead of time it's newly online just this morning like an oh, hour great. ago oh great yeah yeah it was really good it was a lot of fun uh and a fun party afterwards that i made sure i ran up to while people were doing more statements well, the than questions party was also the really fun yeah but i wanted really to make sure nice i got like a seat in the corner because the story that's what he, so, that's what he so does. uh he had the seat in the corner but at some point he has to sneak off to go uh uh, either score some heroin or smoke cigarettes or something. And it's a lot cheaper. And uh, he left in his wake not one, not two, not even three, but four lighters. It fell out of my backpack. Four. But at least two of them didn't work because I was like, I need a lighter. I will keep a lighter at home for candles. <laughs> and they're like, they don't, ah. So yeah, four lighters on the floor. Four Most lighters. of them green. He's Different like shedding green. lighters. I, that, that's why, I, you know, and I'm sure they all belong to other people. Uh, Bill like, was here. <laughs> 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 uh, Some dog ALF, pee on the tiger. She sent me a picture of it yeah. um, as well. Well, and the other, um, since you guys rudely interrupted my intro, yep. um, also helming um, the fifth column and one of your regular guests, I met his father last night, Richard Dreyfus. Oh, wow. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We was at a book signing for his new book on civics. Um, you wrote a book on civics? Yeah, or kids not learning civics. He's, that's his big thing. He went to Oxford to get a, he went to Oxford to get a degree in teaching it, and he did so for like four years. There's like a couple. There's like almost like five, six years where he wasn't acting and just teaching civics. This wow. guy kept bombing in those '90s movies and stuff, right? Yeah, Krippendorf's Tribe, a yeah. couple like that that uh, did do so. You no, know, it's it's interesting to write a book about what isn't happening than to just write a book so it can happen. <laughs> like, why didn't he just write a book geared toward kids about civics? That's a good point. The oh, lads, the, some study just came right. out that said, you know, when I first started writing, someone said, don't say what it's not, say what it is. Yeah. So, yeah. Didn't Sylvester Stallone say that in the trailer, or am I thinking about it? <laughs> <laughs> That's the one that told me. He's the one that told me. Yeah. So. Uh, well, guys, thank you so much for coming. Hello. Um, is there anything else I did not get in my intro? Oh, well, I know what one thing that you guys want to talk about, but that's not a plug. Uh, we might as well just get to it first. Guys. Another Kennedy is running for president. Oh, God. Uh, My favorite one. And also the one with the most dulcet tone of a voice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> doesn't he have an actual condition? He does. It's yeah. really mean. He's I'm a horrible human being. Yeah. He doesn't have a frog in his throat. It's like a full-on dinosaur. Box. It's like a... Yeah. It's, it, it sounds like Parkinson's, but what it's is it? apparently not. It's yeah. mixed with Kennedy-itis, too. Like, he's just yeah. got Kennedy voice, which is he, bad to begin with, right? Do we ever have an explanation? Kind of uh, well, I'll get I'll, I'll get to all of his amazing talking points, but uh, yeah, he's running um, to sort of uh, go against the tide of Joe Biden, uh, and he's actually, as uh, Mr. Matt Welsh has reported, surprisingly big numbers. I've not heard a whole lot Wait, about what his is he campaign. At 19? Twenty percent. Yeah, that is insane. Which no, um, no uh, challenger to Trump last time around. The Republican Party ever polled even once. That that is, that is actually really, really 
fucked up. And he's quite the anti, anti-vaxxer, uh, quite the conspiracy theorist. And as you noted, uh, really loves to th- uh, threaten to kill and or jail anyone who disagrees with him. And this seems to be a pattern for, of his. And I don't know, a lot of it might be uh, just him... Those are his talking points, or maybe he really just has bloodlust. If they're, but, yeah, if they disagree with him, he said they should potentially be jailed for treason. What is the penalty for treason? Does anybody remember? That's right. Death? Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, I just like doing this to Some you. Some <laughs> homeless guy comes up to you yeah. looking like John Morant, and he like, yeah. threatens to Finger kill. guns? <laughs> is that the guy that killed that actress? John Morant? No, he's yeah. an NBA basketball player. Oh. It's, it's 50. He still could have killed an actress. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So yeah, that's so he's the he's the what it's either Biden or this guy. Or Marianne Williamson. Yeah, yeah there you go. Pulling at eight or nine percent yeah, right now. Percent. I have to that's tell actually you. actually insane. If it if I had to cast a vote for RFK Jr. or Marianne Williamson, it hands down it's Williamson. Oh absolutely. Hands yeah. down. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. He's he's not and I mean and I believe and I got a little reamed out about this yesterday by my podcast partner Sarah Heppala. I think he, he's twenty percent because of his name. That's it? Like, oh, of course. It's not his ideas. It's not like, oh, yes, dude. I mean, there are a few, like, maybe fringy people, but it's his name. And then what, what did you quote the, the, MILF, the MILF factor? Dear God. So there's an 18,000-word piece about him, just like a ball-cupping exercise from Tablet, which is not what you normally associate with it. With Ball-cupping? With ball-cupping. It's a lot of words. A lot, a lot of words. A lot yeah. of words. Super long interview, and it's like, and it's in Tablet, which is... Um, uh, you wouldn't expect to be, I don't know, uh, run an interference for a guy who compares childhood vaccines to the Holocaust, which he has several times. And, and like the questions about that were like, uh, oh, that's just journalists trying to do a gotcha because, you know, you were just making a point about big pharma. It's like or you were calling childhood vaccines a Holocaust, which is yeah. insane. That's like yeah. cuckoo bananas uh, uh, kind of stuff. But uh, yeah, so really uh, long, loving um, interviews with this guy in which he's, you know, says that Sirhan Sirhan didn't kill his father, um, that even though that's Sirhan Sirhan has apologized to him in person, he doesn't think he did it. <laughs> um, but that's not even the, the stuff that gets Nancy uh, really upset. <laughs> Is uh, do you, Are you follow the RFK sex diaries from 10 years ago? Oh, I guess apparently it's 20. So just no, so but I didn't know I want to. Coverage was 10 years ago. Yeah. Um, well, no, because his wife committed suicide that- in 2012, I think. So the diaries surfaced in 20. 20- this is grim shit. Okay. And I'm sorry no. for it. Yeah. Um, but uh, he had these uh, sex diaries that that surfaced at the time, in which he was uh, serially talking. And this is why I don't know which wife it was in there, but he's but he's constantly talking about like being tortured because he just wants to fuck everyone. His lust demons. His lust demons, and he's like, I'm Catholic on one hand, I'm married on the other hand, and and I'm going to rank every woman on a numerical scale, on the other hand, <laughs> one to as ten. a fucking grown-ass adult. Right. He's ranking women 1 to 10 on a numerical scale. And it's not even like bangability, which would be gross enough, but it's like how far he actually got or like how far he was imagining going. And it so was it's not like, even like third base. He's got a scale of 10. Such juvenile shit. Exactly. As a grown, in his 40s, uh, maybe so 50s. He's, so it's also like in one case, the New York Post ran a piece about this last week. And so it must be true. I, I think you sent it to me or I saw it somewhere. And... um. So, like, sometimes it was, like, three in one day, and the diary is like, I can't, it's just been so terrible. I'm so, like, plagued with these lust demons. And then, but what I would write is, you know, when I had a day where I didn't do that, I would write victory. And at first I'm reading this, like, he's, you know, conquered his demons, right? And at first I'm reading this, I'm thinking, like, I don't really know a lot about this guy, but, you know, to be so engaged. And then I realized, oh, no, no, no. He's writing these diaries to be read. Because he is so such a rancid, entitled human being. But the part that really drove me berserk, his second wife, he had a child, and he's like, she's finally becoming the woman I knew she could be. You know, she's conquering her insecurities, and she's kind of, like, doing what I say. And now I'm up, and I was like, oh, great. So while you're out banging three women a day and your wife just had a baby, you're delighted that she's finally, you are finally got her to the point where she's okay. He really is a Kennedy. Fuck him. Yeah, yeah the sex demons alone. It's yeah. like inside the mind of 
previous people he's related to that haven't had diaries. Um, and I, I'm very Catholic, too, to just think of it all. Yeah, no, that, that is a good point, you. like writing it to be read. No, you yeah. could tell, like, I didn't, at the beginning, I didn't look. I know people that have had, you know, drug addictions and sex addictions. I'm right it's, here. It's not fun. But I got to a point, I was like, no, no, this is not what this is. Yeah. Um, so Sarah Heppala, she because was an alcoholic and she'd been sober a long time. She pushed, we talked about the pot. She pushed back at me. She's like, Nancy, I feel for him and it's for addictions. And she's like, and by the way, who is he? Like, how is he related to the Kennedys? I'm like, really? Robert F. Kennedy Jr. Yeah, that's I mean, what I think said. about. I was like, <laughs> Robert. She's like, whoa, really? I was like, okay. Anyway, she, she was, she is the nicer part of our podcast. There's no doubt. And I was just like, yeah, I don't, I really no fan of Camelot though. Good Lord. I also, mean, the junior thing alone. He also wrote, um, a thing that uh, bothers me, like I wouldn't vote for him cause he's a scumbag and he's a Kennedy. Um, but also, uh, his, uh, life as an uh, as an activist, He's an environmental activist, and then um, uh, and then now an anti vaccine uh, mandate uh, activist. Um, he will do these big deep dive like articles for Rolling Stone or Salon or whatever. Almost all of which get retracted. And anytime someone like looks into them, they pick them apart. So he's a mm-hmm. election denier about 2004. Like he wrote a, a an endless thing for Rolling Stone saying you know uh, the Republicans rigged Ohio. Um, but uh, he wrote two different things. One was an, a really long article in The Atlantic in 2003, and then one was a book in, in 2016 for si- Simon & Schuster. So, like, he's really being censored out there. Um, that both of them are, uh, are arguing that his cousin, Michael Skakel, didn't kill that gal, Martha Moxley, with a golf club in Greenwich, Connecticut in, uh, in the 70s, in the mid-70s. The 2003 article said, oh, I was this dude over here. The 2016 one, two completely new dudes that he pinned it on who were black guys from Manhattan who he said uh, were lusting after her blonde hair um, and wanting to go caveman on her. Can you imagine? I mean, that sounds like a quote possibly from his diary. Yeah. Wasn't one of them related to Kobe Bryant's father or something? Or he, the, the one person who was supposed to be the witness to show that was related. He was a, a last name, Bryant. And, uh, and so the prosecutor in the case said, OK, Mr. Kennedy, um, if you think you have this evidence, which he said could like, you know, this is definitely Clear enough him. for an indictment. It's like, let's get the guy in here under oath and then question him. The guy's like, ah, I'm super busy this decade and wouldn't uh, testify. So his one link to these these rando guys who who their lives are, are screwed up because mm-hmm. they are they, they've crossed the Kennedy clan and their uh, guy's got like his daughter works for the New York City like sanitation department or something like that. He can't go outside. He's like his life is ruined. Yeah, one more uh, one more bit about that that Sarah mentioned. Sarah used to be the like essay editor at Salon and they ran an article by Robert Kennedy Jr. I guess she didn't know who he was back then and about anti-vax and they had to retract it. They had to take it back and that no matter what they're still Still, we're getting like these angry, angry responses from his lunacy. And yet people, well, it's the name. Boy, you can really travel a lot in the old Kennedy name. I mean, oh, Jesus yeah. Christ. He yeah. was assassinated in 63, and it's still fucking happening. But like, it's also it's also that, like, uh, Democrats don't want Biden to run. Like, no. all, yeah. most of majorities no. of Democrats, until very recently, when you ask them, you know, all things considered, run, not run. They're like, cool, not run. Can we yeah. have someone else run? <laughs> so when everybody flees the scene, you're left with fringe randos, like uh, Kennedy's not a rando, but he's fringe. Oh, he is, yeah. And Marianne Williamson, God love her, is like a crazy, you know, thrice-divorced spiritual well, guru. you know, a few, she says a few things that make I sense. I like her. She I, dances. I like her. She dances very well, as we all know. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'm, well, maybe I'm well, shining onto this uh, Marianne Williamson person. I like. I mean, it's not like there's any shortage of goofballs uh, in the nominee for the Republican. Side. Actually, the Dems are trying to look a lot more like the Republicans once you uh, get rid of the Biden factor, as old as he is. Oh, and that's a good segue for another thing that we have. Um, but anyway, but also like with Robert Kennedy, though, why? I mean, obviously, it's a relation, I guess, by blood. Skakel, yeah. But is, what what is his obsession with this thing? Uh, he knew him. They were uh, close. Uh, OK. Up. So like it's I, I, I wouldn't believe that my cousin would ever do such a thing. And um, it's I remember Mark Furman inserted himself into that story. Um, oh, yeah. Wrote, wrote a book about it. And Dominic Dunn wrote a, a book about it. And so yeah. Kennedy's point of view, the Kennedys are being unfairly singled out, which if mm. we can say anything about Kennedy's and their relationship with women, they're always just being unfairly singled right. out so for unfair. their full beha- yeah. behavior. Yeah. Uh, I was working at Boston Magazine right in the middle of the. 
rape trial for um, what is William it? William Kennedy. Smith. William Kennedy Smith, and then. Uh, Tail ended by Michael Kennedy, who was in trouble for something else, and then playing. And this is a, here's the Kennedy curse. They put themselves in extremely um, sketchy situations, whether it's JFK, where the whether if it's JFK Jr. getting a stupid pilot's license and immediately deciding to fly in fog with his family. He's there and, in Martha's Vineyard, yeah, he didn't land. Oh, were you? Yeah, we were going. Uh, so the vineyard's tiny, and we were stopped. We stopped at this little tiny gas station in West Tisbury, and they they have to they fill your tank there because there's a kid probably, and he just said, uh, he's like uh, JFK's plane didn't come in, and it was like nine o'clock in the morning. You're like, wait, what? And so everybody knew instantly. I remember my brother went out and walked. You know, there were search parties looking on the beach to see if anything had floated. Oh up. my God! Yeah. Oh wow! I remember exactly where I was when that happened. But yeah, so but like the end of it, Michael Kennedy's playing. I didn't even know it was a thing. It's a rich person thing. Foot skiing, football, football skiing. You throw the football while skiing down. Right, there's right, trees right. everywhere. Smacks right into a tree. Dies instantly. I didn't and know. there is no Kennedy curse. They put themselves in harm's way all the time. They've got death wishes and have sex demons. And you would think that the family would the suddenly be like uh, more cautious. <laughs> you know, or they'd be yeah. like, uh, if it is a curse, maybe we shouldn't throw a football while skiing. Like, maybe we should. <laughs> no poles. Throw and catch. Stay inside. Going down a mountain football. All right. Well, you know, I don't want to say. Flying Walendas stayed in the game. That's yeah, well, but there was a lot of deaths. They, wow. They have, they've had some some they've lost some people before their time. Those Walendas. Yeah. I don't think that they've got a clean record. Um, well, then we've got the one. Uh, I think. Do you have it of the presidential? I actually have to say, even though she did this for headlines, I'm kind of in agreement. Um, what was it? The story about the, having the test for the presidents to see if uh, oh, how old? Uh, oh, uh, Nikki tests. Nikki Haley after oh, yes, Nikki, yes. yeah. Um, let me see if I can just pull I it up real it. quick. I well, I, I can tell you, Matt and I, both with our elderly parents, uh, that I don't know what age you should start testing people, but it by the early 80s, things are not great. You will, yeah. We should I mean, all be testing our, our own parents yeah. earlier than we think that we yeah, should yeah, be. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm I mean, sure I don't know. I, but, but, I mean, I have seen, because I have a mother that's dealing with uh, Alzheimer's, I have seen... Biden a few times. Not lately. He seems to either be a a little more on his game or being totally. handled, or handled better. I don't know, Catherine. Well, yeah, I don't know how to talk really good. Yeah, because yeah. his teeth are clacking around in his mouth. Y yeah, but, it's um, like the closest we've seen to what George uh, Washington must have sounded and like. I, and of course, <laughs> you don't know what they're showing you and like what kind of bites and clips and everything. But I definitely have seen a couple of things. I'm like, yeah, I've seen mom. Well, and oh what, God, yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. haven't seen is him being interviewed. Because he, he doesn't do interviews. He rarely does press conferences. Yes. He's the least available president we've had, I think, in our lifetime, basically. Is he, but he's also the oldest, right? By far the oldest. So there, you know, I, I, you know, I don't know why she's doing this politically. Maybe wasn't, uh, didn't Don Lemon, wasn't he, he the one that said about her that she was yeah. out of her prime? You know, maybe yeah, that's like, how okay, it all started. Fine, I'm out of my prime. How about this dude? How yeah. about him being? But, uh, out of his it's prime? also her way of saying uh, that she's uh, against both Trump and Biden. Yeah, totally. No yeah, she's getting the cake and eating it because what? she's like, uh, because Trump's 77, and uh, that she's. Well, and what's interesting is it's an op-ed, and she. Uh, is making the case for a renewed call for mandatory competency tests. So someone was already asking for this, or she did before? Maybe someone did in the 1920s after the whole Woodrow Wilson problem. Well, I think what they're talking about is that she had said it before, and then Don Lemon she's made his clip, but now down. she's doubling down. Um, she said that um, anyone over 75 should have to take the test, and the results should then be made public. It wouldn't only be for Biden, but for every other politician over the age of 75, Republican or Democrat. Well, it has to be fair. Thank you. Um, I, why can't we make this a reality show? Like, do a bunch of different things. Do the drunk test. Do this one, right? Right, which a lot of us can't do. Oh, this would be the, uh, Wait, what is this one? Oh, so what? your your pinky and your on this hand and your thumb. Uh, okay, and your, and I can then, almost and do it. And just do it. At the I know. Same I, time. I think I'm already impaired. Um, uh, do the. Can you do, do this the, with your tongue? Nose touching. No, that's hereditary, though. I do not have the genes for the. Okay. Yeah, well, you're making a four-leaf clover. clover. Oh, yeah, that I can't do. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. That is fucked up. I want some really weird, random yeah. tests. Yeah. Just like, yeah. ever, know, ever, like, turn on, like, ABC or NBC or CBS by accident in primetime? They always have these incredible shows, like the Ninja Contest. And, yeah. Like, human <laughs> beings are out there. Or is lava. For, for 15 years, yeah. and you had no, no idea. Great. And, oh, yeah. They're great. And they're really great. Um, let's it's becoming more and more Japan. We're starting to get it. Uh, yeah. yeah. As far as our 
program. Let's get some precedents out there, in not just in Dancing with the Stars, but like in ninja contests. Let's put and them. And things they have to like jump off different ledges and grab things that we could get rid of so many of them so quickly. That's true. Uh, right? Just like, great, just clear the field. Trump. Okay. Flapping on some kind of thing over water. Just like, oh, the leg. Yeah, just, like, just oh. I want to see him shirtless. Why don't we have any photos of that? Because oh, he's, there, he's there, surprisingly there obese. There was the there was the <laughs> golf there was the golfing hit thing of him. Oh like, yeah, that was great. Boobs. Whole things the, oh, ah. It's just job of the hut with a putter. The, oh, those God. pictures, it's unbelievable. Uh, <laughs> I don't know where we got on that, but uh, yeah. Oh God, I would absolutely want to watch that. Uh, I also, we also have. Uh, there's no even explanation for this one, but I have the video. Uh, a woman. This is a cognitive test. Can you pee into a cup and or box without dribbling on yourself and then mail it? This woman can. Uh, there really isn't a huge amount of. Uh, this was on BuzzFeed. I actually didn't Buzzfeed, watch the video when you sent it, but I will now. I yeah. Didn't, I didn't I like, know there was video. I saw it. Yeah. And I was like, it was a uh, warning what? of it a is, woman this peeing is, in this a is cup. Via I guess. barstool sports, and they more ask. Oh questions. no! 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 Too late. Too late. Now, the, what they bring up in the article. I mean, what the what kind there we of go. psychosis is this? Oh. Oh, That's the first time she's, she's not, done no. this. She's not wearing any pants. No. She's peeing in a cup. They're around her. her well, what is she doing? She's in public. What is inside she? the mailbox? Does she think it's a trash can? No, she's just. She's mentally ill. Oh no no no. Or just you know angry at the post office. She no, was no, wearing no, no, pants. No, no. They were just no, around no, her no. ankles. And I mean, I'm looking at the trees. I'm assuming Florida. No, that's, that's for all the reasons. I'll to Southern California. You can really look at this with Brittany. But the thing that they made a good point of was the no dribbling, where the placement of the cup. Huh. How do you know she the didn't execution? Dribble? This is not her first rodeo. How do you know she didn't dribble? I mean, uh, I don't know. No, yeah. Okay, as a okay, Joe. Mm. Yes. Have you ever peed in a cup? Of course. Of course. Of course, mean, and oh, yeah. course. And listen, guys, it's a little different. You guys can go, you go here, does that like sometimes we I mean I've peed outside a million times when I need to, but sometimes you need to pee in a cup. Well, and, and not just for the doctor. And the issue, though, when or you... Or your when boyfriend? You, <laughs> wait, when were you not at the doctor no, and you had to? No, no, like, I, okay, when I was a kid... Oh, this is going to be good. We would take car trips... My, uh, mom, my mom wouldn't want to stop, so she'd leave like a jar. And she's like, "Mom, I have to stop." And she's like, "Just pee in the jar." This is the fucking sled, isn't okay. it? This is Rosebud. Uh, <laughs> Bell jar. <laughs> You're peeing in a cup as a girl and on a trip a, in a car. Shit, usually that is some serious okay. dad shit. I don't. I, I never thought about. I'm it gonna until send this you minute. my book, Childhood Trauma Rama. I got it from my mama. <laughs> And this Hold actually explains a lot about you, though, Nancy. <laughs> you're able to hang with the guys. Yeah. No problem. You're, you're like, I can do anything anyone else can do. Well, I don't have I don't limitations. That. It makes sense. Yeah. I did once go to the doctor when I was about 12 because I because it was the 70s and you went to the doctor by yourself. I had a wart and I wanted to get it removed right here. You can see the scar still. And he's like, OK, I need you to pee first. And he gave me a, a bottle. And I'm like, I'm a girl. He looked at me. He's like, what? <laughs> I was like, okay, what? Oh, uh, this is, see, you should actually write an, a, a real whole, book. A whole essay of pee stories. I don't know that that, that that was the best doctor. No, he wasn't. No, he was he was no. a total, I don't know what, you know, at 12, I would I just found my own doctor to take a ward off. Because, like, seriously. That is, yeah, that is very 70s. 70s. It was the 70s. I can pee in a lot of places, as most people with penises can. Uh, yes. But with the uh, important exception, and maybe Bill's with me here, um, in, like, old sporting venues. Uh, and maybe trough. This, trough. Eat the fucking trough. Trough. Uh, LA Coliseum trough. I've never uh, been in there. Like uh, the the third deck is seen like, you know, uh, the, the Guns N' Roses open for, for Rolling Stones, you know, in 1989 or something, uh, or the Rams. Uh, it is... 45 dudes, like, shoulder to shoulder, yeah. troughing. Impossible. Why, I, will, you, I will actually die of cirrhosis before I can pee in a trough situation. Really? What's the, because you just, it's just, like, to make too much anxiety, you just, like, seize up and you can't pee? There's a, you have the illusion of, like, no one's watching in case it kind of crawls up and dies on me uh, when you're, like, just in a urinal. You have a little bit of a... Yeah, you got the uh, divider. Separation. Right. Yeah, There's yeah, no divider. Separation. So you feel kind of, like, Unsafe in a sense, or you're no. It's just to see a dick. To see a dick. Yeah. Like you just don't. You don't want to be judged by like your stream. Is, is, is that really? I mean, really? Oh uh, yeah. Sure. Well, and I'll give you a great example. <laughs> My dad 
my Chapin, I won't say his last name, Chapin, my dad, and both my brothers go to Soldier Field mid-80s. My dad t- always would, because we were really young, he would take us to the bathroom, and then, you know, some of us, I guess, pee with us. And in, oh, for, they always have ice. They always have ice yeah. in them, yeah. for whatever reason. And... Chapin's probably about eight, ten, maybe, and some guy saddles up next to him, some drunk bear fan. Let me tell you something, little guy. You oh, no. got a teeny weeny peeny. And my dad knocked him out. <laughs> That's a result. Oh! It was all because of that stupid trough. All right, get rid of them. I don't care how, like. I don't think it was all because of the trough. I think it was because of the inappropriate drunk man. Well, inappropriate drunk man, but it wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for the trough. Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. I just love no that, you know, the, 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 like, who's is bigger even. It's not, it's not big. I, no, I don't mean bigger. It's I don't mean about, that. The, it's the about the stream. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. You don't want to be caught out as being, uh, as being. As being. having a weak stream. Uh, or like being freaked out and not being yeah. able to pee and just standing so there. So you like just a, don't like pee. A, okay. Yeah. There's a lot of things yeah. in it, but oh, that, wow, they suck. Yeah. Wrigley's still we, got That is one thing that women do not, that has never occurred to me. I mean, when I've would that occur? A handicap stall many a time with a girlfriend. One standing there, I'm peeing. Oh yeah. But granted, I'm usually drunk, so yeah. you know, <laughs> I don't have any insecurities. Girls don't, at girls that don't point. care how other girls pee at all. Um, yeah. At all. That's like I would not, never that's be like able a to non-existent. Do that. Although there, okay, there was one weird thing I saw. Oh. <laughs> with a, a friend in college, more of an acquaintance in college. She would sit on her hands. Sorry, what? Oh, I've done that only because you don't oh. want to sit on the toilet seat. She didn't want to sit on the toilet yeah, yeah. seat. But then I'm like, you're getting hands. But whatever you, but on you your can't hands. wash your you ass. Can wash your hands. Sure, but you also have to pull up your pants. You're yeah. then getting bacteria oh, okay. and germs all Mostly, over your clothing. Don't you not even like sit? I just like, you kind of like. Oh, she. Up. I know. For, I, I hate that I know that she sits. <laughs> I sit. Okay. I, I shower every day. I sit. It's better for your muscles. <laughs> Actually, yeah. It's better for your muscles to fully relax if you are sitting. But I'll put down the paper if they have oh, it. Or yeah. if it's especially a questionable toilet seat, I lay down toilet paper and sit on that. But I, for the most part, I'm just like, don't worry about it. No, that's true. I mean, don't freak out about it. But yeah. Wipe it off. Yeah. Well, and that's why, and I always go back to it, and I shouldn't because I don't want to promote it because there's always lines, but Brian Park constantly, year after year, yes. voted the best public bathroom. Oh, cool. Park-wise. And they they've got... The, uh, what do you call the it? The plastic button where it the rotates. button goes around the thing. Oh, I And, see. yeah, and like they play classical sometimes? music. There's flowers in there. It's amazing. Yeah. I heard a really good tip on a, on a podcast the other day. Uh, it's like, you know, people are... First of all, I never have trouble if I need to pee in public. Not in public, but, like... Finding a bathroom in New York City, you go in, you just like walk in or say, "Can I use it?" They, I, I've never have a problem. People are like, you can never pay. This guy goes, he was like a detective guy. He's like, look, you need to go to the bathroom, go to a super nice hotel, walk in, say, "Where's the bar?" Go up to the bar and say, "Hey, order a coke or a cup of coffee or something." And while you're waiting, just use the bathroom. I mean, but then you have to order a coke. That's a rookie move because he ordered a coke. Yeah, yeah but exactly. I don't, I don't know if he goes back and pays for it. Is the thing. Yeah, all right. Well, oh. then that's just dishonest. It is, yes. and I would never do that. But I'm just um, saying. Okay, I want to get to the juicy one that I have some stuff to say about. Okay. Oh, which one is that? The men and sexy clothing. Okay. Oh, yes, yes, we've had that for way too long. It's basically no. a big diatribe about how, as a guy, and clearly we're proving the point we're on, look at Welsh right now. Men can't have nice, sexy things clothing-wise. Um, am, well, I, is, am I in nice, sexy things? Have yes. The sexiest tie I've ever seen. Thank oh. you. Oh. Wow. <laughs> um... It's in here somewhere. God, see, this is the pr- this is the problem. We have too many stories. This uh, this tie, I'll have you know, is uh, is what happens when you go to do the Bill Maher show, which I only bring up because it makes Bill mad. Um, well, I want to go with you. Uh, next time, maybe you should come out. I would love that. Uh, and uh, you forget that tie. So you walk into uh, Beverly Hills hoping that there's a tie nice. store anywhere, and, there is. and you pay a lot of money. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I, that's boy. And now I know where it's taped. And I All right. I have it right here. Why do okay. sexy clothes not exist for men? Mainstream menswear is often basic and functional, while well-dressed men are praised for wearing clean clothes that fit. I love that. But, asks Oliver Keens, thank you so much, Oliver, what if a man wants to dress sexy? <laughs> this guy's got to be gay. Even the, even asking the question, let alone executing it? Yeah, yeah completely. Um, he says, I suspect a lot more men would secretly love a way to signal their desires through sexy clothes. Beyond Sorry. just this man is gay. a fleece, a, I don't even know how to say this word, Berghaus jacket? What the fuck is that? 
or unbuttoning that second shirt button, you racy fox, you. It's vital to make clear that when we talk about sexy clothes, we're not translating that as an assumption that a person is automatically feeling sexual. But it's also true that in certain scenarios, humans like to wear clothes that make them not just feel sexy, but look sexy. For people who wear women's clothes, there's a pretty well-established canon that fits this brief. Yes. Fashion brand Boohoo has a sexy and seductive page on, the, on its website. ASOS displays women's clothes, such as dresses, under the word sexy, but doesn't signpost men's clothes in the same way. Equality. Nancy, okay. it's about time, isn't it? Okay, so let's just, I, I'm not, look, gay men have different prerogatives for what maybe they want a man to look like, right? I, I'm, I can't comment on that. Mm -hmm. What to you is sexy in a guy? Like, what do you think is like? Swarthy. What makes you not, I don't mean just sexy, like sensual, but like, what is like, yes, that is for me, like what I want a man to be. What, what is, what quality is this? Um, honestly, it's clothes that fit well. Okay. But I think Something, she's talking about like overall. Yeah, like, like overall, not just in clothing. Like Qualities. Oh. Or the sexy qualities. qualities. Um. <laughs> Tall. <laughs> <laughs> Things you can't put on. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I groomed. I groomed. think groomed. Okay. Like well put together. So uh, that's something that's tailored. It's something that, I don't know. It, it doesn't look like it's wearing you, you're oh, wearing it. My daughter told me a lot of years ago, she's like, mom, you never, you never we don't let the clothes wear you. No, for me, for a guy, I want him to be capable, right? I want him to be like, he's going to be able to take care of business and do what needs to be done. Mm -hmm. Ergo, cargo shorts are fucking sexy because he's ready to go. He's got his fucking I want phone. them to come back. He's got his thing. It's he going on. He has pockets to hold away. things. He's got, <laughs> no, he's got he can do things. Like, oh, uh, Nick Flynn came over yesterday. I'm like, Nick, help me hang the, one of the lights fell off the wall in the studio. Okay, come on. Capable. He's like able to do that. If Nick Flynn, my friend, came over and he was wearing like some like, I don't know, little tailored thing and this and that, like he'd be worrying too fucking much about what he looked so wait, like wait, wait, wait. to do what I needed done. Nancy, if you hear the, the jingle jangle of janitor keys, oh. does it make you tingle? <laughs> <laughs> That's my point. Um, you know, but, but let me also say, so like when I say like do what needs to be done and then I find that sexy, for instance, we went to a, actually we've been to a couple of galas in the past month, right? This dude cleans up nice. Like, he looked great. He had on a beautiful suit. suit but still, that's also, like, in service to something. Mm. It's not in service to, like, oh, I'm so sexy. Fuck you. I don't care about that. Like, service to Bill yeah. Barr. You want to be, like, ready. And that's what I think makes a guy that sexy. Now, girls, it's different, right? Because mm. girls, they're curvy. <laughs> I like that you're explaining this to us. Like, yeah. <laughs> How do I? I I'm not. I'm, even, I'm like wondering what you're censoring yourself here for. I'm not. I, uh, I'm not saying. Do girls have vaginas? <laughs> <laughs> the sexiness is also in service to the way they move through the world. Mm. And they are. There's different things you. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm remembering the cat. No, I think I understand it. Okay, let's say a man and a woman are both hanging a TV. You want the man in cargo shorts so he can hang the TV. You want the woman in a very short skirt so when yes. she hangs the TV. And then also for when she right? goes and gets the lemonade That's afterwards, accurate. she looks good bringing you the lemonade. Yes. That's, That's what accurate. I'm trying to say. Yeah. So for a woman, it's a visual thing. It's also, for a man, it's the it's capable. Also, what is the thing? Cargo shorts. I'm sorry. I don't know where I heard this. It's probably stupid, but men like to look. Women like to be looked at. That is true. Mm. I'm glad to know the other part. I'll start looking a little more these days. I always forget my sunglasses anyway. But um, so. the older you get, the more you get busted. Although, would you agree that oftentimes women, when they dress and like to be looked at, they want the approval of other women? Yeah, that's what my mom would always teach me. She's like, they're dressed for other women, not you. Um, or to signal that you're I, albu you aside. Right? Mm, yeah. I think... Um, I'm sure that that's true. I will say, like, when I'm getting dolled up and I want to look nice or I want to get dressed, I just want to feel a certain way that feels good and feel that you can, like, transmit this so that you can be interacting with people and they're giving you back the, you know, you're just, like, 
similar energy. Creating a little yeah. like, force field so that everybody, it's like just upping the thing. And it could, women and men. It's fine. Like, mm. it doesn't doesn't matter. Well, I got to say, the only time I've ever seen her not completely dead inside, yeah. and more automaton than human, uh, is when we were looking at the footage of the World Cup uh, Iranian team not singing the national anthem. They do a slow pan of the entire team. Uh-huh. And I look over at Joe and she goes, they are gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. The only right. time you ever actually looks hetero to me, actually. Yeah. Right. And they're <laughs> wearing totally her, her type. that Middle Eastern look. I don't know what I mean, it is. Weird, yeah. Like a little swarth. Yeah. 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 So. And, you know, Douglas has got the beard yes. and tall. So there you go. Damn. I think there's something to the, I start to distrust. I'm, I'm appreciative of a guy who's going to dress all nice. I would just watch uh, Bugsy Malone again. It still holds up. Oh, I listened to uh, you talk about that. The uh, kid but, Bugsy Malone. Yeah. But uh, the kid movie, Scott Baio at age 10, still can like throw a suit on. I mean, he looked great. <laughs> Absolutely great. Shoot a potato gun. Uh, a yeah. splurge gun. Um, but uh, I, it should be in function. You have to be able to clean up nice. You have to be able to dress for work. Uh, and then beyond that, if every single minute of your day is stylish, I have my suspicions about mm. your priorities. None of you have yet men- mentioned uh, Abbott's Field Flannels, obscure baseball teams of the early 20th century, cotton polyester t-shirts. Yeah, cotton poly blend isn't it's sexy no, for most. It's not. Uh, it's not. And, it, and it smells. Right here. <laughs> um, Salt Lake City baseball. Uh, anyway, we guys, always fun um, to have you. Thank you so much. Give us your plugs, promotions, all that good stuff. Uh, go follow me on Substack, Make More Pie. I'm doing a whole lot of writing about Portland. And uh, listen to my podcast, Smoke Them If You Got Them, with Sarah Hepler. Get Another former guest of our show. Yep. Get me on uh, Twitter at Matt Welch. Uh, the fifth column subs, uh, Substack is at wethefifth.substack.com, uh, and reason.com has all kinds of great stuff, including the aforementioned uh, video from our live uh, roundtable. Uh, yes. Yeah, that was a really fun one. That's good.